I'll just smoke Jarvis and then, you know, his brother in the crowd talking, just smack him up to it. Even after his loss, you know what I mean? He improved a lot. He laser focused. It's gonna be exciting, man. I cannot wait. He's got no idea what's coming. Fucking lights out. We are currently <laughs> headed to my last training conditioning session before I head to London. He works harder than most people. I've experienced losing, and I'm never gonna let that happen again. He's gonna see the difference. All right, so we're doing a fight day prep, making sure my nutrition's right for fight day. We're about to do a heavy spa and uh, just see how I feel. Let's go. Great, we spot 10 rounds with, you know, Kevin. He's been working with me a lot. Putting the pressure on me, really throwing me in the deep end, you know what I'm saying? Like, not holding back. Because well, the thing is, the more you throw in sparring, the more comfortable you're gonna be in three. So, you know, I'm excited, I'm ready. He's gonna get tired, feeling excited. More ready than I've ever been for a fight. There is no chance that this, this kid will beat me. Got my snack, some walnuts, some protein powder. We're almost on weight, 10 days out. Do my open workout and then we got some like pictures we gotta take for misfits my fight kit and then a little face to face with the mullet man himself he looks like a fucking idiot pal i'll give him that he does look stupid as fuck you might want to throw it harder but, yeah. b dave looks scared bro going to um really destroy him all in jarvis's favor probably the most confident i felt in any fight It's a big fight, it's for the bell. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a concussion fest both ways. Welcome Jarvis, welcome back B Dave. We got a banger ahead of us. Doesn't go the distance, I'm gonna get him out of there in the first three rounds. It's definitely not going the distance, you're, you're right there for sure. Third round, you're going to bed. Take a little nap. We'll see, we'll see about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fucking nervous. He usually says so much. Oh, all right. He's the guy that Mams puts there to carry like the press conferences, be loud, be crazy. And he wasn't. He was scared, bro. He didn't even talk shit. He said he's locked in, but he's just scared. Alright guys, it's currently Thursday, day before fight night. I did my official weigh-ins this morning. Everything went good, made weight, and now the ceremonial live streamed weigh-ins is 50 minutes away. We are at Town Hall Hotel, just down the street of York Hall. You've obviously got those fight day nerves, but feeling excited. More ready than I've ever been for a fight. B Dave has said a lot of things. He said he's gonna knock me out. He said he's gonna do this, do that. There is no chance that this this kid will beat me. This isn't no tag team match, you know, this is a real fight. We made it the whole week without getting yeah. sick, no cough. Even though your team was fucking dying. Yeah, everyone around me was sick and ill. Somehow this time, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. Day, headed to the venue right now. I'm getting up there early so I can just chill, relax, and then uh, fuck B day up. Let's go with my shit. We have my kit. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. I could rustle up the pair of shorts though. Ready to go. I was just up there watching B day get his hands wrapped. He's very nervous. He was the only one in his room just pacing back and forth. I felt kind of bad for the kid, honestly. Okay, so I put his prediction on B-Day. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I mean, that's unfortunate. K KSI gets all his predictions wrong. He thought he was going to win his fight, and look what happened to that, so that's all you need to know.
Heads up! Come on, Charlie, keep that pressure on!